guest earned himself a daytime Emmy for his role as Brady Black on the iconic soap opera Days of Our Lives. Please welcome Eric Martzel. Hey, Such hey. a good guy. We have applause here. That's Could, great. Yeah, you're right. We don't get applause on our <laughs> daytime set. Can we please back it up? It's been around 50 years. You're celebrating its 13,000th episode, and you scored an Emmy for the role. All this is a trifecta of awesomeness. When it rains, it pours, man. Right. And uh, we just actually just yesterday did our cake cutting ceremony for 13,000 episodes. Did anybody eat the cake? Because I just said none of you age. Yes. Christian Alfonso in that picture has been on no. so many times. Love her. Yeah. It is such an incredible cast. Deirdre Hall. I mean, what do you think? Why is this show still doing so well when so many other soap operas have unfortunately not? Because none of the actors eat cake. <laughs> That's how we do so well. It's all about balance. No, no. We, uh, it's, I think, and I've been asked this question a lot, I think it's generational power. I mean, I, I do these events and I, I, I see... I see grandma, and then I see mom, and then I see mom's daughter, and then I see the daughter's daughter, and they are all there for the same reason. They all just, they all just love the show. And you see grandpa and dad, although they say, don't tell anybody I was here because there's so many closet watchers. That's the best. Right? That's the best. You have the girlfriend and the boyfriend, and the girlfriend will say, oh, nice to meet you, and she'll <laughs> walk off to the next actor, and the guy will be like, he'll wait till she, till she leaves, and then he'll come back and go, can you make that out to Tom? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Real quick, real quick. Well, I thought you didn't watch the show. No, no, no I just tore you up. You know. Little known fact, though, you have a degree in political science, as does William Baldwin, who's here today. So how did you end up in this crazy world of acting? I know you were also a, a dancer on the in Dollywood. Uh, dancer. That, I'm, I'm, mar I'm married to a dancer. Okay. But I was always involved in musical theater. Um, this is, oh, my God, what well, is let's that? let's take a look back, Eric. That would be this Dollywood. That, you're dancing. I that, hate to tell I'm you, but you're dancing. dancing. I'm gyrating my. Okay. That's not consistent. Is that dancing? Is this Elvis Presley? Is this? Are you doing Elvis I'm Presley? I'm doing songs? Blue Christmas, if that if memory serves. But I, I've done I've done a lot of theme parks. I actually worked at Hershey Park while I was getting my degree at Dickinson College for pre-law. Yeah. So it was either be a lawyer or just be on stages and sing. And you can obviously sing. the latter, you know, won. You can sing though. I do sing. Also, you worked a cruise ship. My first job out of college was a singer on a Hawaiian cruise ship. <laughs> Did you so love it? If you're thinking about, well, should I be a lawyer yeah. or should I just hang out on a boat in, in Maui and sing zippity doo dah? <laughs> yeah. I'm never going to be a lawyer after that. You, you give a guy those kinds of options and you just, you how, know. How long until you were sick of singing <laughs> zippity doo dah? I, I threw up my first show <laughs> because no one told me that we were going to be doing the show while we were going out of Kona. You're and prepared. it was one of those, it, yeah, yeah. I literally was like, zippity doo doo. Yeah, that's not a good time for you. Went over to the bound for <laughs> That will not be happening tomorrow night because you and some of your fellow colleagues will be on a boat with you guys, the hardcore fans. So, how yes. does this whole thing unfold? It's a star cruise. Well, first of all, Canadians are, are you know, avid soap fans. Yes. They, they love us and we love them, and I, I can't wait to come back here. We're actually going to be out on the Mariposa boat. Benefiting the Lung Association, which is a terrific, absolutely terrific cause. Yeah. But we're going to be on this cruise from 12 to 5 on Saturday night. We're going to tell stories. We might even have a, an adult beverage. You might even Maybe be three busting out some of your old school Elvis songs. We, we might even, I might even be busting out some Elvis. You yeah, never know you what, never what know. happens during these things. But we have a lot of fun, and uh, we tell some great stories, stories that you don't get to hear anywhere else because we, we, we just like to open up. That's the least we can do for these fans that have been They're so too, loyal yeah. to us. So we we let it all out. And we don't ever, hold anything back. If ever you are in Vegas, get this, you do the commute from L.A. where you shoot the soap, and then your beautiful wife and your twin sons, they're in Vegas where you have your own fitness gym. It's called Cardio Bar. It's called Cardio Bar. Have you heard of bar workouts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they're, like, they're very popular. They're, they're catching dance. steam, and they're very popular in L.A., and um, this has always been a dream. There she is. There's always been a dream of my wife after her dance career to have this particular fitness regiment. And she's been a master trainer for years. And we were like, well, dang it, where can we open one up? And Las Vegas just happened to be one of the most ideal places to have one of these. And we decided to do it. But we've always Vegas, been adventurers. Baby. You know, we, we met on tour. We met on the tour of Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. So, you know, so cool. these kinds of adventures have never been tough for us. It's just geography. Yep. You go where you got to go yep. when, you, when you're an actor. And you know? you're doing so well. And tomorrow night, you got to go see him. See Eric as part of the Daytime Star Events cruise. You can find ticket info at breakfasttelevision.ca. I know you also had a stint in radio. So can you please, in your best baritone, give me a 
Over to you in the newsroom, Tammy. Tammy, over to you in the newsroom, sweet cakes. Sweet cakes. <laughs> That was good, Eric. That was good. That was excellent. You good stay classy, stuff. Toronto. Stay classy, Toronto. <laughs> All right, baby. Oh, thanks, Eric. Thanks, Dina.